Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is this beautiful and colorful wall art. We're looking at five different designs and all you need are magazines and catalogs. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make this really cool wall decor that you see behind me. Only using magazines and catalogs, so it's super easy to do. I encourage all of you guys to try it out and comment down below your attempts at this really cool wall decor. And tell all your friends, tell your friends, tell your neighbor, tell your mom, tell everyone. Hope you guys really enjoy this channel and these art videos and comment down below for any suggestions you have because that would be really, really helpful. Definitely subscribe to my channel, click on the bell icon down below so YouTube will notify you every time I post new videos. All right, now let's get to the video. All right, so first step is to cut up these catalogs into evenly spaced strips. Just try to be as even as possible. Um, I'm not really measuring it out here just because it's a lot of strips to cut and I think I can just eyeball it pretty well. Make sure to choose some pages that have lots of fun colors. You don't want something that's plain and just a single color. Try to look for fun and interesting colors. Don't worry too much about the text. Most likely it should go away because your strip should be fairly thin. All right, so for the next step, we're gonna take each strip and glue it side by side. So make sure that you're combining a lot of different colors. And just keep going until you finish your entire paper. So now we end up with this really nice mosaic color that's really shiny and really cool. So I am using shiny catalog paper for this project. I just think that looks better and since I'm not framing anything, I think it comes out to looking like a much better wall art design. Okay, so for the next step, I'm gonna flip this page over and draw a paint palette and a paintbrush. So just drawing in some circles for where the paint would go and then a brush right next to it. Next I'm going to draw a nice maple leaf. So I'm doing the main sort of uh, border of five and then I'm drawing the jagged lines. Just to help me make this more symmetric. Feel free, of course, to use a real leaf for, for reference and trace along that. So I'm drawing a big leaf and a small leaf. Third, I'm drawing some a tree, actually. I'm drawing a tree stem and a few branches. And this can just be pretty random. Just add branches wherever you'd like. Alright, so now we're looking at this paint palette and brush wall art. So we're going to go ahead and cut this out. Be careful when you're cutting, um, make sure that you can see the silhouette well because we're not gonna be adding any borders. Your, your silhouette has to speak for itself. All right, so now I've noticed some of these strips came off um, just because it's really hard to get the entire strip glued. So just go ahead and fix those. At this point, you can also fix any of the colors you don't like. So if you see some text there you don't wanna see, just uh, place another strip over it to hide it. And finally, we're gonna take a white piece of paper and glue these two pieces on. For good reference, it's a good idea to make sure your strips are vertical so you know that it's in the right orientation. Now I'm cutting off the side strips and drawing in circles. So this is where the paint would normally go. 
I'm gonna fold that in four, cut it out, and glue it onto the palette. This is just much easier than cutting off uh, circles in this mosaic paper. And here we're done, our finished product. So next we're looking at this leaf. Just like before, we're gonna cut it out. And a nice technique I noticed, um, I find that it's a lot easier to cut these leaves when you cut from the outside in. It's a lot easier to get all the jagged lines without bending the paper or damaging it too much. Like this video if you're enjoying. It's right there, we'll only take a second. And we're gonna go ahead and glue these two leaves onto our white paper. And here I'm using some thick drawing paper, just so you guys know. Alright, so next we're looking at this tree. Um, and just like before, of course, cut out the tree from the chart paper. This is a little similar to the leaves because of the jaggedness of the branches. And here I'm just patching up the, the empty spots with some new strips. And you should have plenty of strips left over. We're not using the entire chart paper. And once I patch it up, I'm just gonna cut this again. Trim it up. All right, so for the next part, we're gonna create leaves. So I'm choosing this really colorful magazine and I'm gonna fold it into twelfths. So I'm gonna trace out this leaf shape that I created earlier just to make sure that they're all the same. And also it's just easier to cut them all at once or in threes. Here we end up with a lot of really cool colors of leaves. So we're gonna take our tree, tree silhouette, and then we're gonna arrange these leaves all over it. So this worked out pretty well they both have similar color theme, red and blue. All right, next we're gonna look at this gem shape. And this is a little bit different. We're not using strips. We're just using various different designs. So I'm taking this page with all these umbrellas and cutting out triangles of various colors and prints. So just make sure that they're all the same size. All right, next I'm gonna draw the rest of the gem. So just uh, two sides and then dividing that in three. And for dividing it in three, we wanna divide from the downwards pointing uh, triangle all the way down to the tip. So I just cut these out for shape reference and then I'm gonna pick out the print. So I'm breaking out these curtains here. Um, I'm gonna trace it out with this one piece and I'm going to use both sides of the curtain so the two sides of our bottom parts of our gem will be symmetric like that. And then for the middle piece I'm choosing this shelf right here. I just think it has a lot of cool colors and an interesting pattern. So we're going to cut that out and then once I cut it out I actually realized that the back of it looks much nicer than this side. So we're gonna use this nice flowery color and we're done. Finally, we're gonna cut out some fun letters DIY. So I'm taking this uh, various shades of blue colored um, magazine page and I'm cutting out letter D for DIY. And then for the I, I'm picking out this interesting pattern this little strip of various shades of blue. Then for the Y, I'm combining both of those patterns, 
choosing that section right there. And here we have it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was a lot of fun to make. It's a really great way to transform random magazines and catalogs you may get in the mail into really cool wall art. So of course you can do this with literally any shape, any letters, any patterns. And as always, subscribe to my channel, comment down below, like this video, share with your friends, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.